building's great, but it requires just too much physical effort. Here's something that fixes that though, it's the unique Ego Cruiser, an electric skateboard. So this thing is battery powered, you drive it using this remote, you push this lever forward to accelerate and pull it back to hit the brake. What's interesting about the brake is that it's regenerative braking. That means that when you hit the brake, you'll actually charge up the skateboard's battery ever so slightly. It takes three hours to charge completely, and on a full charge, it can go 18 miles. Uh, the speed limit is 13 miles per hour, although I'm certainly not brave enough to go that fast. If you take a look underneath, you can see this long stretch here, that's mostly battery, and the battery is flexible too, so if you're jumping around on top of the board, it won't just snap in half. It's one-wheel drive, and this thing can handle a maximum incline of 10 degrees. There are a couple of really nice design touches here. For example, this whole thing's waterproof, so you can ride it through puddles without having to worry. And on the bottom, there's a USB port for charging up your phone. As if that's not enough, the remote has a flashlight on it, and if you download an app, you can actually control this thing using your smartphone, although then you do risk dropping it as you're whizzing along the pavement. I'm not very good, but it's still a lot of fun to drive, and the braking actually is quite gentle. You don't fly off the front of this thing as soon as you hit the brakes. It's going to cost $700 when it comes out, available online. And that's all from me. I'm Lou Westway for CNET here at CES 2014. Check out ces.cnet.com for more.